Hi friends, my name is Dara, this is Dear Hallmark, and we're about to talk about some Hallmark Channel stuff. Specifically, we are going to talk about Romance to the Rescue, which stars Andrea Brooks and Marcus Rosner. And Nathan Witt, let me not forget, lest I forget. Let me tell you the premise. So, Andrea Brooks' character, I forgot her name, I'm sorry. Um, and Marcus Rosner's character, I think his name is Kevin. Her name is Kira. Boom. So Kira, she's this very much, she's a stickler, she's a planner, she has things done in an organized way. There are things that she likes to do in the way she likes to do them, yeah? So she has this list, she has this, this um, list of goals. Get a job at this specific company, become um, a merchandiser, become a buyer, begin to sell products at this company and find the perfect partner. I think there's like five or six things on this list. And she's just checking them off and doing things and, and putting proper and blah, blah, blah. And so she meets this guy who, she also has a checklist when it comes to guys. And so this new manager played by Nathan Witt, I think his name is Trevor or something. Apparently he seems to check all the boxes and so she's trying to get her flirt on and um, her friend Mark, who's a, a co-worker of hers, he tries to be her wingman but then lies for her and tells him that she has a dog and that he's agility trained, his name is Squawky. She's just like, yeah, like she just goes along with it. And so she, how she ends up with Marcus Rosner's character, Kevin, she goes to his adoption, his shelter, um, and that's where she gets the dog from and his name is Sam. And he's a cutie patootie. And um, Kira realizes how connected Kevin is to Sam. And so she's like, oh my gosh, why don't you train him? He's like, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I just need to just cut this off right now because I'm not trying to get too close. He's like, I don't understand what you're talking about. Like, I need a trainer. Train him. And then all the while her manager says oh my gosh you have a dog he's agility he's agility trained we're gonna make you the face and advertisement for our like the the, the the show pup competition and he's gonna be the premier dog or whatever and so she's like okay and so kevin ends up training sam and which means he they end up spending more time together which means they end up getting close together which means she begin to meet his family or whatever and then they get even closer and then you know there's a conflict so then they gotta separate for a while but then they get back to him okay. all in all i'm gonna give you my crown rating first i'm gonna do this a little bit backwards i'm gonna give you my crown rating first and then I'm going to give you kind of my thought process behind it. So right now I'm feeling a healthy three and a half. Here we go. This movie was cute. It was incredibly cute. I found myself smiling in spaces that I didn't realize I was smiling until we went to commercial. I felt flutters in my stomach. I felt myself blushing a lot. I definitely got secondhand embarrassment at some parts. So I was into it. This was a beautiful, one of those like yo today sucked i just need a movie to just take my mind off of today this is that type of movie it's also a beautiful movie to have on if you just like if you're the type of person to just have the tv on even when you're in the house doing other stuff this is a beautiful movie to have on it's really really good but at the same time, I mean, it wasn't nothing magical about it. It didn't give me just one kiss. It didn't give me wedding veil legacy where I was like, <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> you know? So I, that's why I gave it three and a half. Because I think Andrea and Marcus had incredible, like they did an amazing job at creating these beautiful moments where they had, they gave me on. You know what I mean? And... The, the little flirty banter back and forth. And you could tell Kevin was very guarded. He was shy, he was tiptoeing, didn't want to get too close, but he really liked her. I felt like Marcus played that really, really well. And Andrea, this to me is my favorite role she's ever been in. Meanwhile, not meanwhile, let me tell you, I don't watch When Calls the Heart, so I can't speak to her acting in that TV series. However, with the a couple of movies I've seen, this is my favorite one she's ever been in. She's so bubbly and lively and dynamic, and I enjoyed it immensely. I enjoyed her performance in this. I don't know what you want to say outside of that. I mean, this this was a no-brainer. 
Um, this was a Steph Curry shot. Just sink it in. You know what I'm saying? Three pointer. You know. So yeah, that's kind of where we are with Romance to the Rescue. I'm trying to think if there are any scenes that. Oh. There was this one scene, right, where he's at her home, her abode, and I think they're about to make the gluten-free bars or whatever, and he is just, you know, looking around, getting a feel for her place, and then he goes to her wall that has her list on it, and he begins to read it, and she's like, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, no, 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 and then she begins to take it, take off the, she takes the list down, right? And the way he looks at her, and she's taking the list down and is saying like, oh no, 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 don't think, like, don't worry about that, whatever. It's so minute. It's like the smallest detail, but like, I picked up on it and like, I really liked it. Like, it gave me the like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but, oh, and the ending scene. The whole show, I wasn't expecting it. The conflict, I was like, oh, come on. And then the whole, like, she goes through the, the darky tunnel and he comes out on the other side and she, like, falls into a kiss. I felt awkward. I'm not gonna lie to you. I felt awkward. I don't. But, oh, can we talk about the villain? Don't even know her name. What is it? Lauren? Laura? Loser? I don't know. She got on my nerves. Ugh. Return to sender, please. No me gusta. <laughs> um, but in any event, uh, yeah, let's just control, alt, delete her. <laughs> okay. So, um, but other than that, I really, I, I enjoy this movie and let me know if you want me to do a main movie ranking um between heart of the matter ripping time warming up to you romance to the rescue and road trip romance let me know if you want to do a, a, a main movie ranking and if it doesn't matter i'll just let you know in the next video that i do not next video because there's two videos coming up after this <laughs> you're gonna enjoy it yeah but my next review, I should say. Oh no, because, okay. Listen, if you want me to do it, I'll just make sure I'll do it, okay? You just let me know in the comments. You just let me know in the comments and then I'll get her done, okay? So, um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you had an amazing holiday and thank you to all of those who have who served and have served in any branch of our armed forces. Thank you for your service um, because it, it's because of you that we're able to have a holiday honor but we, more importantly we want to honor you um, for this day so just thank you um, but in any event my name is Dara and this is Dear Hallmark if you want to know more there's an Instagram link there's a Facebook link and I also have a podcast that you can check out for extended reviews where I give you kind of more e elaborated thoughts about certain movies. You'll also hear some bits and pieces of Hallmark news and my thoughts about them. For instance, all of the actors that have been getting signed to Hallmark, the whole Candace Cameron Bure situation, the whole GA sense and all that, like all of that, the podcast is going to be your jam so be sure to subscribe to the podcast and if you haven't already and you're watching this and this is your first time first of all what's the second of all why haven't you just why haven't you subscribed yet i don't understand why you just want to be a visitor and not become family i don't understand so hit that subscribe button and if you want to know when i come out with the videos they have a little bell not the liberty bell although hashtag philadelphia yay. But there's a bell that you will be notified about whenever I upload a new video. We're going to have a, good, a fun week this week. And uh, I can't wait for you guys to see what's coming up this week. But yeah, that's all I got to say for Romance of the Rescue. Thank you guys. Love y'all. Hope y'all had a great holiday. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.